Managing with Jan Hopkins. And uh, just ahead on managing, back in business, how an entrepreneur who sold his suntan lotion business is basking in the glow of success again. Getting there is next. Growing your business to a size and reputation that attracts unsolicited offers you can't refuse. That is the dream of many entrepreneurs, and it was the dream of Bob Bell until he actually sold his skincare and suntan company. But now, more than five years later, he's back in the business. In this week's Getting There segment, Jack Cafferty tells us how you can go home again. Miami Beach is just the most beautiful place in the world. The, the, the sand, the water, the sun, the sky, Ocean Drive, the beautiful colors, Art Deco, the beautiful people, the birds, the sunsets. It's the most beautiful place in the world. I love it here. Certainly slow. Bob down, Bell stands on familiar sand, they're, they're the birthplace away. of his entrepreneurial ambitions. Over the past 20 years, the 40-year-old Floridian has made a fortune selling suntan lotion. And his new South Beach condominium affords a good view of the beach where he began as a teenage lifeguard with a complimentary business on the side. I grew up right here. When other kids sold lemonade, I sold tanning products. And I'd go out and mix coconuts and, and fruits and baby oil and iodine and, and make up tanning products. Bell turned a source of spare change into big money and built Banana Boat, the second biggest brand in sun care, before selling the company to Playtex for $60 million in 1993. Now he's busy building a new business with an old brand name. After honoring a three-year non-compete agreement, Bell re-entered the business in 1997. He bought Sea and Ski for a million dollars, hoping to resurrect a famous but dormant brand name. Our first year out in sales is $18 million in retail sales, and the sea and ski market share is two, over 2% 2 in year one, so we're off to a tremendous start. You got some orders coming through today? Sure do. Bell expects sales to double in 1999 as he continues to build a new sea and ski essentially from scratch. But with the benefit of two decades of industry experience and plentiful financing, he quickly assembled an experienced team to manage Sea and Ski's product development, design, and distribution. A far cry from the banana boat startup, bootstrapped by Bell and a partner who sold out a little too soon. After about a year, I ended up buying out my partner. He financed my buyout. And I literally started myself in a van, uh, making the products, selling the products, delivering the products, keeping the books, working in the warehouse at night. It was really a one-man operation. It feels good. Yeah. Bell is still a hands-on entrepreneur, but relies on his team for its expertise. Chemists help develop a steady stream of new products, regularly presenting trial formulas for sampling and smelling. Fragrance is in nice, it's holding well. I think we have a winner. But this is Bell collaborates with graphic artists to produce colorful, eye-grabbing marketing materials and product this packaging. Be, this will be our ad for the Shape magazine. This is and a network of distributors stays busy keeping Sea and Ski flowing to retail shelves throughout North America, with Bell watching all the time. I'm constantly out in stores. Every time I go to the grocery store or the drugstore, I go shopping. I'm always scanning the shelves. Uh, scanning consumers, what they're looking at, what type of products they're buying. I'm looking for new packaging ideas, looking at the new trends, looking at new product ideas. One idea Bob Bell had at Banana Boat was to shift focus from sun tanning to sun protection, reflecting growing concerns over skin cancer. I want to protect my skin. I'm not out there looking for a tan, you know. Strong demand for protection was one of the reasons Bell got back into the industry. A lot of the companies on the market were still emphasizing dark tanning and staying out in the sun and baking, baking in the sun. And I saw a tremendous opportunity to come back into the marketplace and build a new product line that's technologically advanced based on protection. And protection, and, uh, as Bell sees it, is a year-round really business, something easier to promote with a brand like CN Ski. We have products that are good for the wintertime, and products that are good for the summertime. They're year-round products. Whereas pretty much the other players in the, in the sun care category are stuck kind of in that summer Caribbean, Hawaiian type 
situation where Sea and Ski is year-round. Sea and Ski markets a host of products for winter sports and weekend warriors like lip balm and waterproof sunscreen with SPF levels as high as 50. The company also has a complete line of colorful sunscreens aimed at kids with names like Monster Green and Dinosaur Purple. With a team in place to run the business, the solar care entrepreneur is free to hit the beach and continue his hands-on brand of market research. It also leaves him time to show off the arm that won him a college scholarship to play quarterback at North Dakota, although he came home after a year to focus full-time on business. Putting people in the right place, have them doing the proper thing, uh, it's, it's all important. It's important in football, it's important in business. A lot. <coughs> I draw a lot of parallels between uh, football and, and running a business. And don't expect this entrepreneur to be content to keep the ball on the ground and run out the clock. He's making up for lost time, loving every minute of being back in the business he truly loves. The most important um, attribute for an entrepreneur or a business owner is to have passion for his business. And I love this industry. I, I understand it very well. I've achieved success beyond my wildest dreams and imagination. And you certainly have the opportunity to succeed and live out the American dream right here in beautiful Miami Beach. And Bob Bell is living that dream for the second time.